Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. At the moment I'm filming this, we're currently in lockdown due to the whole pandemic. So a few days ago, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law announced that they'll be having a baby um, and they're having a baby boy, which is really, really exciting. And I know he's not even born yet, but I was scrolling around on eBay last night just for fun, because I've been really, really bored throughout this whole lockdown that I've been fixing things in the garage, like fixing things around the house that were broken and um, like vacuums and stupid things like that. And I had an idea maybe to buy a bike fix it up and then sell it or keep it if I really liked it. But I was scrolling through eBay and I actually found a kid's bike that was ending in about two hours. So I'm like, you know what? Even though the kid isn't even born yet, I'm gonna bid on the bike, hopefully win it, and then I'm gonna give it a mad paint job, do some cool stuff like that. Um, my brother-in-law is a huge fan of Iron Man, so I might do like an Iron Man themed paint job or something on it, I'm not too sure yet. But um, yeah, I ended up winning the bike. So like I said, he's not even born yet and he probably won't even be able to ride it till he's about three or five years old because it's like a kid's bike. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be a cool surprise for them, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go pick up the bike now I'm actually really really excited. So it should give me something to do and hopefully it comes out awesome So I'm heading there now to go and pick it up All right, so we've got the bike it's in the back there. It's actually pretty sick. It's in much better condition than I thought it was um, But yeah, what I'm gonna do now is just go to Bunnings, which is a hardware store here in Australia um, pick up a few little supplies, the paint the paint stuff I want to do I can't really get from Bunnings but I'm going to order that online most likely uh, but it'd just be like black paint, sandpaper, a few things like that and once we get back we're going to strip it down, clean up anything like maybe repaint all the bolts and things like that as well while we go um, but yeah I'm going to discuss the details once we get back and I'll show you the bike up close. Alright so we're back from Bunnings, got the bike back home, we're in the garage uh, we've only just moved here recently, so the garage is an absolute mess. And another thing is, I'd love to paint this bike with an actual spray gun and compressor, but I haven't managed to set anything like that up yet. Uh, plus, it's just the bike, it's only small, so spray cans are probably going to do just fine. So, let's go over the bike, I'll show you exactly what it is and what we need to do to it. Alright, so here it is, here's its starting form. Hope the light's not too harsh and ignore all the crap around in the background and stuff. Haven't quite sorted our garage out yet, but here it is. So, it is a Star Wars themed bike. Um, but all that's going to come off, they're just stickers, so hopefully they come off nicely. Uh, when I bought this, I was worried that they might have had the stickers and then clear coated over them, because a lot of uh, bike decals are like that. But thankfully, pretty sure they just peel right off just like that, so that's good. So yeah, it's got the Star Wars hand grips, but they're quite worn. I'm going to change them out probably just for black. Um, I'll probably just get, try and get a blank one of these. Um, and then it's got a bell on it and everything. It's got a front brake, and the rear brake is actually on the pedals. Uh, it's got wide like fat tires on it, which I think are awesome. And what else? The seat here, or the saddle, we're going to be replacing that as well because it's got Star Wars things on it. So probably just replace that with a black one or something like that. Um, yeah, overall it's in really decent condition. Uh, it's better than it looked in the photo. But yeah, so what we're going to do now is essentially just strip the bike down and prepare any parts that will be getting painted. Anything like the bolts and stuff like that. I'm going to degrease them because they're a bit rusty. So we're just going to throw some degreaser on those and then uh, paint them black again and things like that. I'm still not 100% sure on the color scheme here, but I do have an idea for the frame, but everything else I'm not 100% sure yet. So for those who are interested, the bike was $45. That's what I want it for. They're about 150 brand new. This whole thing isn't about the money because it's gonna be just a little gift that I give away. So we're gonna be spending like 100 to 150 on paint and supplies because the paint I'm getting, hopefully getting, is pretty special. So. Yeah, it's gonna end up being over budget because you could buy a brand new kid's bike for less than that, but this is gonna be custom one of a kind. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna strip down the bike, clean it up and things like that, and just, yeah, try and work out what we need for the rest of the build. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually spray the bike with some degreaser or some brake cleaner, just to get all the muck and things like that off it, and then we'll slowly start to strip it down and uh, prep it for painting and other stuff. Now with most of these parts, I'm actually gonna take them off. I'm gonna leave them soaking in a bucket like the chain. I wanna leave soaking in a bucket of degrees along with some of the bolts and things like that. Um, the chain looks pretty good. I was thinking I might have to buy a new one because in the photos it looked a bit rusty, but in real life, when I actually picked it up, it's pretty clean, so that'll be fine. Um, but yeah, all the bolts and stuff, we'll let them soak, give them a good clean, and then we're gonna repaint those as well. So um, I don't wanna film too much of the boring stuff because otherwise the video is gonna go for way too long, but I'm gonna start cleaning and stripping the bike now. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so pretty much all the stickers are removed and it's looking good. One important thing I always try to do, um, whether it be car, bike, whatever it is, I take photos of everything before I strip it. So I've taken photos of this rear hub section here, the chain, just every little bit, so that when it comes to putting it back together, I can see if I'm not sure how to put something back together, I can refer to my photos. Um, and also to make sure I'm not missing any parts when I'm putting things back together and things like that. So next step, I'm gonna start stripping the bike. I'll probably start with the wheels, get them off. Um, take the chain off, the drive, everything like that. And then, um, yeah, go from there. On this bike, I want to repaint all the bolts because they're quite rusty. They've been soaking in degrees overnight and now I'll give them a sand down to remove the rust and give them a fresh coat of black paint. I have the wheel nuts and locating washers hanging from some wire so that I can paint them all the way around quickly and easily. It's the finer details that will make this bike look awesome. Alright, so I've actually got a lot of the nuts and bolts for the wheels and things like that. Just painted them black, they're drying now. With the frame, I've actually managed to get most of it apart. Um, I got this off, I actually found something to get that off, so that was good. Uh, still having issues with this side of the crank, but I do have the other side off, which is, uh, it's in my bin of degreaser. But uh, yeah, it's just this side here, and then um, the frame's pretty much ready to sand down and paint. So hopefully I can get this off. I think I just need a large shifter so I can get the uh, little retainer ring off in there, but I'm not too sure just yet. But yeah, it's going really, really well. Um, got my box of parts, so I've got the fork in there, handlebars, everything like that. That's all being repainted as well. I'm just not sure what color yet, but the bolts and things like that are probably going to remain black. I'm still waiting on a tool to get that drive side crank off, but in the meantime, I'll start sanding the frame. I'm starting with a 180 grit sandpaper and making sure to get rid of any surface rust and any scratches and imperfections. After the 180 grit sand, I'll go over it with 320 grit paper to smooth things over a bit and then it will be ready for a clean before we start spraying it with primer. I can't wait to start getting paint down on this bike.
so it is now the very next day I had a bit of trouble stripping the whole bike one of the cranks just wouldn't come off but eventually we got it off so the bike the actual frame is completely stripped uh, we've taken a lot of the nuts bolts things like that and stripped them down given them a good clean and then painted them black again uh, they look really really good cleaned up the bearings they're really really nice um, they had a bunch of grit and dust and things like that in them so they're all cleaned up which they'll get re-greased when they get put back in the bike um, for now, we've sanded down the wheels as well, so I'm just going to give them a degreasing and uh, then they'll be ready to paint as well. So yeah, I'm probably going to order the paint today or sometime this week, so we're getting really, really close. I can't wait. parts that need to be painted black have now been painted so that is awesome next up we're going to be painting the accents on the bike so possibly the handlebars the forks and the seat posts we're going to be painting them gold so that'll probably be next got to give them a sand down prepare them and then they should be ready for paint and then lastly we're going to be doing the frame the frame is a paint i've got to get from somewhere else so all this paint i got from bunnings but the paint for the frame has to come from an actual paint shop so I'll be ordering that this week. So yeah, I'm looking forward to painting the rest of it, but the black parts look really, really good. So as of now, we are completely done with painting except for one last bit. The one last bit is the actual frame. Um, we're actually gonna be painting that in a candy apple red. So I think it's gonna look amazing against this gold. With this gold, I actually just grabbed it off the shelf. I wasn't too sure what it was gonna look like, but I'm really, really happy. It's like the perfect color that I was looking for. So as I said, with that Iron Man theme, the gold and the red, I think the candy apple red and the gold are gonna go together really, really well. So. Um, I mentioned a couple of clips ago that I was ordering the paint in, so I went to buy it. It was seventy dollars shipping because it's a dangerous item, being spray cans. So I called up the paint shop that I used to deal with all the time back when I lived in a different area, and they actually got the paint in yesterday. So they've never stocked it before, and randomly they decided to stock this candy paint. They got it in yesterday, and then I asked them today if they had it. So it was a weird coincidence, but it worked out perfectly. So yeah, the frame is gonna be candy apple red. Got a little bit more sanding to do on the frame tomorrow, then I'll be ready to paint. But yeah, that's where we're at. Let's get this frame painted, and let's get this bike back together. The 
bike is now painted in primer. Even though I only really need to cover any bare metal parts with primer, I ended up priming the whole bike just so I can be sure to get the best result. Now I'll sand back the primer until it's smooth and it's finally ready to get some paint thrown on it. Candy colours are painted in a layered process. The first layer is actually a metallic silver, followed by the candy colour. The candy paint is actually see-through and the first layer of silver metallic can be seen through the paint, which gives it that awesome, deep, lustrous and metallic look. The final step in the paint process is the clear coat. So I've just put the last coat of clear on. The painting is finally finished. The candy apple red looks absolutely amazing. I'm actually blown away. Didn't think it would look that good. I think it's gonna look really good with the gold and all the other colors, all the, all the other accents. I'm not gonna to touch it for two days because I'm probably gonna give it a polish once it dries completely and I don't wanna do it if the paint isn't fully cured. Um, so in a couple of days, I'll probably give it a polish and then we'll start assembling the bike. Yeah, really, really happy with the way it's come out. Really happy. I love it. It looks so good.
fresh on the scene, fat got 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 fresh on the scene, fresh on the scene, fresh on the scene, on the team, fresh on the scene, on the team, fresh on the scene, on the team, So the bike is finally finished. I'm so happy with it. It's come out awesome. It's been a really fun project. Um, I really hope they like it. And I hope that one day their son can actually look back and watch this video and see his bike in the making. So like I said, I know it's a few years off him being able to ride it, but because of the lockdown, I had nothing to do and thought I'd do something like this. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. So again, I hope they love it and let's go give it to them. So we're about to call Katie's sister and my brother-in-law and see if we can go there tomorrow because the bike is ready. So we're just gonna yeah, tell them we've got something for them but not tell them what it is. Hopefully they answer and hopefully they're free tomorrow. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. I've got you on loudspeaker and I'm with Michael at the moment. Um, are you busy tomorrow? Because we've got a little surprise gift for you. Oh. It, it, it's nothing crazy stupid, but yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah. Um, For you too, well, yeah. All right, so we're actually just heading there now. The bike's in the back. Um, I've just called them and said we're on our way and I'll call them again to give them further instructions once we get there. Um, because I want to set the bike up on the doorstep and for them not to see it, like, yeah. I want them to open the door and see it kind of thing. So yeah, we'll see you when we're at their house. They have a video doorbell, so I'll be taping the camera so they can't see us come up the driveway. We're gonna give you some instructions. So come to the door, so come front the door, front but don't open it. Come. I'm gonna to talk to you through the door. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, so throughout the lockdown, I did something for you guys. It's very, very early, but yeah, I hope you like it. Open the door. The many, many nights Michael has spent. <gasps> what the hell? That's insane, dude. Like it? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck, man? It's way early because obviously. But I, I'm sorry, but I saw through the mirror. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even hear. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. That is awesome, dude. I can ride that motherfucker. I knew it. I've already, read, sorry, I've already written it. Just going to the pool room. Oh I said that. Imagine in the theater room or something hanging on the wall. Looks sick. Oh, that's beautiful. Dude, that's me. Thank you. Did you spray it? Yeah. That's sick. Wow. It's all refurbished. Candy apple red, oh metallic God, gold. Awesome. Everything's been like all the bearings were pulled out. It was a second hand bike. All the bearings oh. were pulled out, like re greased. You sprayed all this? Yeah. yeah. You sprayed everything and put stickers on oh. and made it Iron Man. Thing. <laughs> so that cool, dude. So cool. Lewis, Lewis did the badge on the front. He oh didn't do the sides because someone was already selling them on the net and I found them before, oh, I, did you get print before I spoke to him. That's nah, he good. didn't do those. He did the front one. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Yeah. Dude, that looks epic, dude. How <laughs> sick's the paint? I love the tyres too, man. Yeah. That is awesome. And the training wheels look sick. Thank you so much. It's Thank like, you. oh, you know. It's so cool, dude. Michael, you made a the night. So when oh. you came over the other day, oh, he's like, make sure oh, join us for yeah. the garage. Yes. Mad That's kids. why yes. you were in there. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Take it for a spin. He will love it. It's really for you. <laughs> it's really Michael wiped the yeah. tires down there. They think we're very good. Oh, I look No, it's only look good for you. I don't care. Oh, no. Imagine you snap the training wheels. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Don't break the training wheels. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my new ride. <laughs> All right. That is so cool.